What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 22-23 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Hobby Edition. 12-box case break picker teams number 2. Again, we have a $500 break credit promo if you just had to buy two or more teams. So if you buy two teams, you get entered. If you only buy one team, you will only get... Uh, you won't get an entry, sorry. But top five names win $100 each. Now, we slashed the last uh, X amount of teams. Last five teams, 75% off. So some people got some pretty good deals. And uh, like I said, at the end, we will... Randomize the names and see who gets uh, spots for the giveaway. For the last five that bought, including Steve Birch, who got like the last four. Got a pretty good deal. Actually, the cool thing is we get to break this while we're actually watching some hockey. And I'll probably rip six boxes before I start going through the cards, so we'll do that. say though I feel like this series one boxes have gotten heavier. Although I think Upper Deck listened and made the packs a little bit easier to rip so I do love that. Let's make the breaks go by a little bit faster. But it's still a little rough but not as bad as it once was. So again, I believe this is the first year of Seattle Kraken, like actual young guns. So a lot of these actually have been selling pretty well from $50 to like 100 plus. So, you know, if you get a couple of them, depending on the player, you know, top draft picks kind of deal, then you actually do pretty good on the Kraken. That's why they're expensive. I personally, honestly, don't really know too much about this class. I'm still like wanting to like see more 2021, 22 products, which we're not even like halfway through those products. We haven't even got in 21, uh, 2021, sorry, uh, cup hockey yet, you know, so it's cool that they're already starting to do series one, but they, they need to do a lot of catching up. So I, I, I guess I should have studied a little bit more for this, but I was just like kind of thrown off like, let's do the release other products, <laughs> you know, damn, that you haven't released yet. I think at this point. They should just combo up 20, 2020, 2021 class with 21-22 for cup hockey at this point. Just make it a double class like 2012-13 NBA. Uh, yes, but there were also packs that had so much glue at the top that it was so hard to just rip. But they've gotten a little better. And it's funny because it's not that many cards actually, but it's just a lot of packs. You get what? Eight cards, 24 packs? It's kind of normal. And it looks like this year too, I think they kind of got rid of relics and have autographs now. Because so I did see Teddy pull some autos, which is kind of cool.
I think you're right, Mike Tar, yeah. You'll have to help me out on this, Mike Tar, okay? Usually don't always need too much help for hockey, but like I said, I, it just throws me off. Like I'm, I'm just still looking forward to a lot of Quinn Byfield Kings products from 21-22. So, you know, Peachy Platinum's supposed to be coming out soon. Kind of excited for that if it still does release. So I'm not even, I'm not even to here at 22-23 yet. <laughs> Yes, I do actually know that one, Matt Boldy. I remember the Kings were talking about him when they played the, the Minnesota Wild that day, uh, last week, this past week. Thank you, Mike. So yeah, Jake Christensen, Carson Meyer, Marco Rossi, uh, Nick Blankenberg, Jack Quinn. Is that one of the Quinn brothers? Buffalo Sabres, Kent Johnson. Is it is it Bernier's or Bernier's?
Oh. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize these young guns do end up selling for a lot early on. You know, the hype will die down. You can get them for a little bit cheaper. But obviously, if you can grade these PSA 10 them, gem them, then that's where the value kind of stays. And obviously, this would be one of the ultimate rookie cards if, if they do have a successful career, right? I mean, look at McDavid, Matthews, those guys. And then, if you can get the exclusive version, even better. If you can get a, a high gloss. I mean, I remember the biggest high gloss I've ever pulled in, like, my Series 1, Series 2 career was Jake Gensel. I remember I pulled it for one of our customers back in Hockeyland. And it was, like, right at the right time, too, when, like, Pittsburgh and Jake Gensel was just killing it in the playoffs, too. It was out of an ice hockey break. I remember I pulled a high gloss jig again, so that, that was crazy. One more box and then we'll continue on. So this should help speed up the break a little bit. I might be able to get this done in an hour, but I feel like since this is like late at night already, last break, I might be a little slower. So we'll see how we do here. Right now I'm at the 15 minute mark. So I assume it's probably taking another 15 minutes to go through these five, six boxes, and then, and then, uh, another maybe 15, 20 minutes to rip. No, yeah, he was an update because honestly, I remember that year Upper Deck was rushing it. Jake Kensel was like the best rookie that year, even though they didn't create any cards for him. So he was definitely an update, but you can only get him in ice. So, I mean, I guess it was a little easier to pull, but, but I mean, at the same time, you know, at that time, they didn't make any Jake Gensel cards. I remember they even made him as a special redemption for an RPA, you know? Like, they, Upper Deck was just trying to take advantage of the fact that he was a rookie and just having an amazing season for them that they, they needed to put him in. But either way, that's the only that's the only rookie that's the only uh, young gun that he's ever had. I don't think they made another one of him. Yeah, Rex. Well, I mean, young guns are made of like the thinnest stock. They're kind of just like Series 1 baseball, so... Gemming those have always been a little tough, but if you could gem them, it's great, but... I don't think you need to worry too much. There we go six boxes so i'm gonna kind of speed through this a little bit guys but if i miss anything just let me know jack uh jack mcbain young guns you should get a, about six young guns per box on average defensive uh mechanism
Dazzler's Kerfoot. Oh, yeah, it was Heather. Good remember of the name, yeah. I think she was, like, in Philadelphia, or in Phil uh, Pittsburgh, too. Costellic. I don't know whatever happened to her, though. I don't think I've heard from her since Hockeyland. UD Canvas. Yeah, I think she was from Pittsburgh. Also, two guys, these are Peachy uh, checklists or Series 1 checklists. There will be multiple, so we'll just distribute those evenly. Unless it's a numbered one, then we'll randomize it. But most likely, everybody should get a couple. UD Canvas, Jason Robertson. Matias Marcel uh Marcelli UD Canvas Young Guns Trey Fix Wolanski Nathan Smith for the Yotes. Blankenberg. So there you go. That's one of the bigger young guns, right? And that's actually a French young gun right there, actually. Even better. There you go. Did I pass one? Three, four. I pulled five already. Maybe see. Maybe I did. Noah Cates. Is this box gonna have seven then? That's already six young guns right there. UD Canvas. Shane Gossis Bear. Had seven then. Good eye, Mike. Good eye. So usually you're supposed to get six. Got a French. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You even got a Young Guns UD canvas. So even eight Young Guns in this box. Braden Tracy Dazzlers Jake Ottinger UD Canvas Cole Sullinger Vladislav Young Guns there for the Yotes Caden, Corsac, Larkin making it a little interesting. He just scored.
UD Canvas, Dylan Cozens, Matt Duchesne, Ben Myers. I know, right? We should keep one of those young guns. We, you guys can't be getting extra stuff. UD Canvas, Nathan Smith. Kent Johnson. Black and white UD Canvas, Tomas Hurdle. Jordan Harris. Two boxes down. Let's go to the next four. Bobby Brink. UD Canvas there, Brandon Saad. Is he still around, actually? Jacob Morver. Trying to think I've heard too much about him. He must have been just recently drafted, maybe? No, he's like 1998. He played 19 games with the Kings? There's no way. I, I don't even remember that, honestly. Judy Canvas, Michael Grundlin. There's Matt Boldy. Whoa, and a uh, Jake Christensen, a little acetate young gun. Which is pretty nice. Columbus Blue Jackets, that's going to Steve Birch as well. Good box. Trey Fix, Wolanski. Seth Jarvis. Hayden Hogstone. Dazzlers, Mika Zibanejad. Jake Christensen. Beauty Canvix, I, I, Alex, I have follow, sorry. Dazzlers actually sell well. I assume they do. Especially if it's one of those newer rookies. Alright, we're halfway through the first six. there for the Leafs. Frederick Anderson.
Gauss. Linus Sundin, Owen Power, UD Canvas, Black and White, Connor McDavid, Pashal, Chase Pearson. Quinn Hughes, and Jack LaFontaine. Two more boxes, and we'll rip the next six. Carson Meyer. And then there's our first exclusives to 100. Brock Nelson. It's all about. Victor Arvidsson Dazzlers. Frederick Karlstrom. That's for the uh, Dallas Stars. Josh Bailey, that is for the Islanders. Dylan Sandberg for the Winnipeg Jets. Jets, Jets, Jets. All right, let's put this away over here. Isaac Ratcliffe. Tom Wilson. Nathan McKinnon. And there's Matt Berniers. Berniers. Seattle Kraken. Steve Birch. JT Miller Freestyles. This is actually a really cool insert. And we got a clear cut foundation, Zach Hyman and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. The Nuge. Samuel Fagmo. I remember him actually. The canvas there of Michael Bunting. All right, last box here, and then we'll go with the next six. Matt Duchesne looks like his number to two fifty. Logan Couture, Jeff Malott, Pavel Bushnevich, Braden Schneider,
Adam Raska. Canvas there of Elvis Mers Lincolns. Jordan Spence. Nick Suzuki Canvas. Mark McLaughlin. Here's an acetate of Sonny Milano. And there's a Young Guns checklist there of Matt Boldy and Marco Rossi. So actually, let's gonna stay with Minnesota. I don't have to randomize those. Philip Deneau. Canvas for my Kings. There's the first six. Alrighty. Next six, guys.
Justin Fields and Tua tomorrow. Who is Cleveland? Tua is home against Cleveland. Okay. I think he's home against Cleveland. I know it's Cleveland. I don't know if they're in Cleveland or in Miami. And uh, Fields is home against Detroit. Mm, that's but intriguing. I, I'm, 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 I gotta, I gotta go for the higher ceiling because. Well, the Bears could put up a lot of points, but they're gonna give up a lot of points. I feel like the Dolphins should win, right? I just, I don't see Cleveland as like a team. You don't get into a shootout with Cleveland, do you? You don't, but I think Miami should be able to beat them though. Yeah, but but like a Lions team, they could go. That game could be a shootout together, you know. Yeah, I, and I'm shooting. I got to. Uh, I need the higher ceiling because I'm I'm projected to lose pretty big. Really? So Who are you playing? No, this, this is not. I'm not talking oh, about Jaspers. Oh, it's not only. Yeah, I'd probably go Fields to be honest. I think that one might be more of a shootout. Like his projections lower, but I think. No, oh, he should do better. There's no injuries on their offense, right? I mean. No. So I, he should be fine then. I probably I'd probably go Fields. Like you said, I don't know if you see Cleveland. Yeah, we like, just had such a monster week last week. Yeah. On bench, of Nicholas <laughs> on your bench. Evan uh, Bouchard. Oh, wait. I'm going through this already, and I only ripped two boxes. What the hell? All right, let me finish going through this one box, and then I guess I'll rip the rest of them. Uh, well, Thierry, Pustin, Pustinen, Troy Terry, UD Canvas, and uh, little Byfield. We got Mads Saltgard. UD Canvas, Matt Boldy. Young Guns, that's nice. Marco Rossi. Nice, a little Stuart Skinner. That's a acetate. Clear cut. Alex Vlasic. Jordan Cairo. go through the boxes. I think that Teddy threw me off.
I hate when this happens. Stop doing that. Alright, just gonna rip two more boxes, guys, and then we can go through the last five boxes. All right, last box here to rip, and then we'll go through the five boxes. store interesting now
All right, guys, here we go. Lafernier. Lucas Richel, and that is the uh, French young gun. Chase Pearson, young gun. Canvas, Charlie Coyle. I don't know why I get the feeling Detroit's going to tie it right now. Linus Sandin. UD Canvas Young goes Ken Johnson. UD Canvas uh, Andreas Johnson. Love theory for the Penguins. Dazzlers Matthews. Trey Fix Wolanski. Yorkstrand. Maddie Alright, 30 seconds left. Alright. Zach Hayes. It's over. Dazzers Brock Nelson. And Frederick Karlstrom. No Cates. Andre Vasilevsky. Ladislav Laugh. 
Moritz Seder. Maselli. Jack Quinn. Evgeny Kuznetsov. Jacob Markstrom, Thomas Bordeaux, Voracek, Blankenberg, Jonathan Kovacevic Oliver Ekman Larson. Braden Passel. Lucas Rachel. Lucas Raymond. And Kochikov. Young Guns there for the Carolina Hurricanes. Looks like I have a UD canvas Young Guns coming up. And it is Jacob Galvas. All right, two more boxes, guys. Here we go. Bobby Brink. UD Canvas, Young Guns, Black and Whites. Valtieri, Pustinen. That's for the Penguins. Dylan Sandberg. Patrick Kane. UD Canvas, Drake Batherson.
Hayden Hogson. Young Guns canvas of Lucas Rochelle, Lucas Rochelle. Jeremy Swayman. Jack McBean. Dazzlers, Alex Killerin. And Ben Myers. Alright, so last stack right here. Then we got one more box. Caden Korshak. Hoglander. All right, one more box, guys. All right, so last box here, guys, and then we'll do the giveaway. Here we go. Jack up parole. Pierre Luc Dubois, Mark Kasselik, UD Canvas, Carter Rehage, nice Matt Boldy there, most of the wild Steve Birch. Got a pit lick. Mad Soul Guard. Thatcher Demko. Nick Blankenberg. There's another one there for the Columbus Blue Jackets, Steve Birch. UD Canvas, Kyle Connor. Samuel Fagmo. Canvas Abinajad. And there you go, folks. Boom. So, again, we got a lot of young guns, a lot of dupes, but, you know, Blankenberg, bigger one, Boldy. Berniers. There's a Boldy there. Uh, Berniers. Christensen. Boldy. And a lot more over here, of course, too. Um, just leave it at the top load, all the canvases, all the young guns. So, got six on average and 12 boxes. That's over 72 young guns. Um, so, let's switch scenes now, guys. And let's see who gets those two spots, or gets the spots in the giveaway. So, remember, remember five winners, uh, top five, get $100. And again, all you have to do is buy two or more. So, Kev got two. That's an entry. 
Patrick Cox got 20, so that's 10 entries. Scott Q, Scott Wilcox just won. Steve Birch was six, so that's three entries. And then Zachary with two. That's an entry as well. I got top five, get $100 each. Dice roll, six and a four, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, six, four, ten. Patrick, Steve, Patrick, Patrick, and Zachary. So there you go. So Patrick, I'll send you one code of 300 and Steve Birch 100, Zachary 100. So there you go, top five. Get $100 each. So appreciate it, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, guys. Thanks.